Hey everybody, Dayo Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Charming Empire along Sarah's route. In the last episode, we lost our halberd training privileges and we got to do a little bit of sewing and mend Sarah's sleeve. And that was about it. <laughs> so let's see if today's a little bit more eventful. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. I haven't eaten with my brother for days, but it looks like he wants to talk to me after dinner today. That sounds scary. He might as well tell me during dinner, but I guess that would be breaking etiquette. Yes, must eat in complete silence. No fun during dinner. No business during dinner. So, what do you want to talk to me about? I start the conversation after all the dishes have been cleared off the table. Well, I've decided when you will debut. D debut This is a bigger deal than so she is making it out to be. On the next day that the palace is open to the public, we will have a ball where I will introduce you to society. I expect you to have both your etiquette and dancing perfected by then. Y yes sir. I just came here from the countryside. I didn't expect to debut so fast. How long's it been? I kind of felt like we'd been here for a while. I don't remember what Soshi said next, so I'm shocked that nothing entered my head. Did Soshi say something important about the ball? I turned to Sarah as we were walking down the hallway. What? Weren't you listening? That again! Do we never remember or hear anything? I was, but I was too shocked to take anything in. I can't believe you got shocked over a little thing like that. Little? Irk. I hate to admit it, but he has a point. I give him an apologetic smile. My footsteps get heavy as I worry about fitting in with all the high-class people. It's a big deal to me. I'm a country bumpkin. From then on, my lessons get harder. I can't remember all this. Why did y'all have me raised out in the country? Why didn't you have a tutor teach me when I was out there? I put my head on the desk when our tutor steps out for a minute. I'm exhausted, even though I'm just sitting down. I need to get it together and do these problems before my tutor gets back. I lift my head and stretch. Now that my dance lesson started today, my tutor is even stricter than before. Dancing's not easy after using my head all day. My clumsy dance lesson goes on until evening. Ah. <sighs> I crash on my bed. It might be bad etiquette, but I couldn't care less right now. Well, who cares if nobody's around to see it? Phew, I am exhausted. I don't mind if you sleep, but it's almost time for dinner. Oh yeah, I have to get ready. I lift my heavy body from the bed and walk to the dining hall. And we're done already. <laughs> the busy days continue. Now that I'm used to the busy schedule, I practice my dancing in front of the mirror as I wait for my tutor to come. May I bring you something to drink? The maid calls out to me after setting out my things for bed. Yes, please. Very well. She bows and heads toward the door. Um, do you have a minute? Yes, how can I help you? The maid turns around as stoic as ever. I can't tell if she's annoyed or not. Have you ever seen a ball? Yes, I've been in charge of the food before. Oh, okay. Then how long does the dancing usually last? That depends on the person. There are people who dance the whole time, and people who dance between conversation and food. In your case, since it's your ball, I believe you'll constantly be dancing as a way to introduce yourself. I see. I thought I might be able to dance as little as possible, but... If what the maid is saying is true, I need to practice more. When I let out a sigh, the maid quickly follows up with praise. But a ball is a lady's chance to show off her beauty. If you practice, I'm sure you will. The maid cuts herself off. I apologize. It's not my place. No, it was very nice of you. You were helping. The maid gives me a deeper bow than usual and runs out of the room. Wait! W wait! But the door shuts before she can hear me. That was rude. I'm your princess. Obey me. We could be friends if she would always talk frankly like that. Wouldn't it be faster if you asked Lord Amazaki about the bull? That wasn't the point. Yeah, but I wanted to talk to my maid. I always try to make conversation with her, but it never works out. In the end, she always treats me like a princess. You're still trying to be friends with the servants. Sarah looks at me in disbelief, but he seems kinder about it than before. <laughs> I, won't, I need some friends. I need a social life, guys. After a while, my tutor comes in to start my dance lesson. One, two, three. I count to myself as I step to the rhythm. The turn I always mess up goes smoothly today. Sarah is in the corner of the room, 
staring at me as I practice. Sarah, you should practice with me! I thought I was used to having him stare at me, but... It's embarrassing, since I'm not very confident about my dancing. I remember what the maid said. A ball is a lady's chance to show off her beauty. I haven't been much of a lady in front of Sarah, but maybe the ball's my chance to show him a different side of me. I hope I can become a bit more ladylike in his eyes. I try to step gracefully as I dance. My tutor seems to notice my change of attitude, but he doesn't say anything. He even praises me for how well I do. Hooray! We finally got kind words from him. One, two, three, one, two, three. I practice dancing alone in front of the mirror before dinner. You seem pretty serious about this. I see Sarah's reflection in the mirror. Well, I think it's important to make my dancing look nice. <laughs> You're looking forward to the ball more than I thought. You don't look happy about that. Huh? Sarah sounds different from usual. When I look back, he's leaning against the wall, with his arms crossed and a stoic look on his face. But he seems kind of angry. What's wrong, Sarah? I give him a confused look. Nothing. Keep practicing. His face isn't stoic anymore. He's clearly mad. Um, okay, I will. I have no idea what he's mad about. I look up at him in confusion. Hey, are you mad at me? I said it's nothing. I don't believe you. <laughs> it doesn't look like nothing. But I can't do anything if he doesn't want to talk about it. I put my confusion aside and ask a favor. Sarah, can you help me practice? Aha, here we go, but I have a feeling he has no experience with dancing. Why do you want me to do that? Sarah sighs after a long silence. It's hard to get the hang of it by myself, so I'd appreciate a partner. Why don't you ask your tutor? But I want to practice what I learned today. That's not my problem. I don't know anything about dancing. Don't say that, please. I give him a pleading look and bow. Sarah's quiet at first, but I don't plan on backing down until I get an answer. Finally, Sarah groans and awkwardly runs his hand through his hair. A princess shouldn't bow like that. Now I don't have a choice. <laughs> it's not an order. My brother gives you orders. This is just a request. I don't care what it is. Just stop bowing. I look up at him. Then you'll dance with me? Sarah has his usual annoyed look. At the ball, everyone else will be asking you to dance but I guess asking me to do things isn't anything new. <laughs> I'm always getting Sarah to do stuff with me and for me. Even though Sarah agrees to help me, his inexperience makes him tense. Relax, you have good athletic reflexes. That's not the problem. Remember how my tutor is always telling me I'm slow because I'm not very athletic? If you have good athletic reflexes, dancing should be a piece of cake. That's what I would have imagined. Sarah looks doubtful, but he doesn't back down. He awkwardly walks over to me. Okay, what am I supposed to do? First, I need your hand here. I casually take his hand. He's closer than I thought. Uh, didn't you dance with your instructor? He's always close when he's acting as my bodyguard, but it feels different when we're facing each other. I was nervous when I first danced with my tutor, but this is even more nerve-wracking. And it was your idea! But I'm gonna keep holding hands. Because you need to to dance, right? Even though I'm nervous, that's no excuse for letting go of his hand. I tense up. What are you so tense about? N nothing Oh, I'll put on the music. Oh, you should have had that on before you started. I set a classical record on the phonograph. Sarah freezes just as I'm about to move. All right, you don't know the steps, do you? Let's see. You didn't think of that? Well, I've watched you so long, I can probably imitate the steps. I was going to say that. He's probably been watching, so he might know. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Forget about complimenting me. You should think more before you act. R right Sorry. I smell awkwardly at Sarah holding his hand out to me. I'll do my best, but I can't make any promises. I ignore Sarah's reluctance to dance and give him a big smile. Don't worry about it. This will be fun. I take his hand and we finally start dancing to the music. Oh, picture! Sarah mutters as he concentrates on his feet. I guess at least he probably won't be stepping on mine. One, two, three. Now forward. You're not supposed to look at your feet when you dance, but I don't say anything when he's trying so hard. It feels different from when I'm dancing with my tutor, but I just go with the flow. 
Is this really your first time dancing? You're so good. Don't distract me. <laughs> I hang my head as Sarah cuts me off when I try to make conversation. Sorry. He shouldn't be so worried about it. He's doing really great. He continues to stare at the ground. Sarah's been so nice to me lately, but he doesn't have time to worry about that now. Suddenly, the record changes, from an upbeat tune to a quiet melody. Hmm, what's this? Suddenly, Sarah looks up, and the new rhythm throws him off balance. Mo. He quickly lifts his feet and bends his body. After the crisis is averted, he breathes a sigh of relief. On the other hand, I have no idea what's going on. Um, what just happened? I almost stepped on your foot. So that's why he lifted his feet, but it seemed kind of over-exaggerated. It's your first time, so it's okay if you step on me. I can't step on a woman's foot. I don't think being a woman has anything to do with it. But Sarah makes it sound like the most obvious thing in the world, so it's hard to talk back. That must be why he keeps looking down, too. <laughs> the fact that he's been worried about that this whole time makes me laugh. Is it funny that I almost stepped on your foot? No, I'm really happy you're being careful, but it's kind of funny how careful. It would be embarrassing if I stepped on your foot after you asked me to be your dance partner. <laughs> I get it. Sarah grumpily looks away when I keep on laughing. I'm sure you won't have to worry about your dance partners at the ball stepping on your feet. Sarah's tone sounds cold, and it's clear my laughing isn't the only thing he's mad about. The ball is probably filled with gentlemen who are used to dancing. Sarah's right. Everyone there will probably be good at dancing. But I don't think they'll be as much fun. As I think about how sad that will be, Sarah whispers in a low voice. You talk so naturally to me that I forget that you're really a princess. Huh? What did you say? Sarah shrugs off my question. I mean, at this rate, no one at the ball will think you're a princess. <laughs> yeah, turn it into an insult. What? You shouldn't talk too much at the ball. It'll just make things worse. What do you think of me when you hear me talk? I hesitantly peer up at him. You just sound like a regular girl off the streets. I can't say you're a tomboy, but I wouldn't say you're a princess either. I see. I knew he thought that way, but it hurts to hear him say it out loud. I... I'm just saying you're not much of a princess. You have your own... good qualities. <laughs> you're just digging yourself in deeper, Sarah. Just leave it. Let it go. I'm not much of a princess, huh? He's just forcing himself to say that. It's just like him not to tell me a lie about being more princess-like. And there are only a few more days until the ball. I need to work harder on becoming an upstanding young lady. And we'll do that in episode 10. Wow, that entire episode was about dancing. Well, pretty much that entire episode. Oh, and the next episode is actually the day of the ball. Hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me. And I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.